If you are confused about data analytics in 2026, watch this first. So I'm going to be starting with a short story. A few days ago, I shared a post and asked people a simple question. And the question was, what skill are you struggling to choose right now? And I got some responses, SQL, Excel, Power BI, Python, data science. And what really stood out for me wasn't the tools they mentioned, but it was the confusion. It made me realize that people were not lazy. People were not unserious, but they were just overwhelmed, right, by the different tools that are out there. And if that is you right now watching this video, I want you to hear this clearly. You are not the only one experiencing this. A lot of beginners out there are also experiencing the same too. They don't know where to start. They know there is Excel. They know there is SQL. They know there is Power BI. But which one should they choose first? Or which one should they start with? And so we live in a time where everyone has advice. Every platform is shouting. Every tool is the most important tool. When you come to this side, they tell you Excel is the most important thing. When you come to your right, they tell you Python is the most important tool. When you meet this other person, they tell you Excel is the first tool that you must learn. And so what happens? You start learning everything at the same time. A little bit of Excel, a little bit of Python, a little bit of SQL, a little bit of Power BI. And six months later, you've consumed a lot, but you haven't completed anything. And the thing is, that's not confusion. It is lack of structure. And structure is what most beginners are missing. I've worked in data, I've trained people, and I've mentored beginners at different stages. And I've seen one thing over and over again. People don't feel because they're not smart. But they feel because they don't know what comes first. And so in this video, I'm going to give you clarity. I'm going to give you a simple structure, a simple system that will work for you this year. And so if you want to succeed in data in 2026, you're going to focus on four different things, just four things. We're going to be talking about them. The first one is to learn the fundamentals. Learn the fundamentals. So before the tools, before Excel, before SQL, before Power BI, before Tableau, before Python, before the different courses, before the different certifications that people will tell you to obtain, you must understand what data actually is. Especially if you are a beginner and you are trying to come into this data space understand what data actually is ask questions like what is data why do companies collect data what does a data analyst do what is the difference between a data analyst a data scientist a data engineer a bi analyst etc and the thing is most people skip these these parts they just jump to the tools without understanding the fundamentals. But when you don't understand the fundamentals, every tool feels confusing. You hear this here, you hear another thing on the other side. That's why it is very important for you to understand the fundamentals so that you know why you are using them. And so understanding the fundamentals removes fear. The next step is to learn the tools with intention. So you don't just learn, you learn with intention. So now that you've understood the fundamentals, you know what data is, you know why companies collect data, you know what a data analyst does, you know the difference between a data analyst, a data scientist, a data engineer, and a BI analyst. The thing is, the tools are not goals. They are just instruments. They are just what you would be need to do your analysis and eventually give insights to your audience to your stakeholders and that's where order matters that's why you need to know the structure you need to know the things to learn and the first thing to learn is excel and this is what i tell most people i've had opportunity to speak with a lot of beginners and this has helped them so much so you start with excel you know why you're starting with excel 
Excel shows you what your data looks like. If you use Python, you won't you won't be able to see it because you would have to check the top five, right? Which still does not show you everything about your data. Excel would help you to see where you have missing values easily. Excel will help you to see where you have duplicates easily. Excel will help you to see where you have inconsistencies in your columns. Excel will help you to see where you have inconsistencies in the date formats. So a lot of things. That's why we advise people to start with Excel. Because Excel is quite easy. And then you'll be able to understand what data is. Right? And then the next two is now to move to SQL. SQL is also known as structured query language. So it's what you use to extract data from the database. I'm not going to be talking about that, but right now, check my other videos. I explained so much about that. So I said you learn Excel first. The second part is SQL. The third part is visualization tools. So we have several visualization tools. We have Tableau, we have Power BI, we have Lucas Studio. Anyone you feel like you can learn it. Anyone you have access to. You can learn them. Everything is free. So you can learn them. And it will be easy for you to transfer the knowledge that you have in one to the other one. And so the next one is Python. Python is optional. It's not compulsory. But when you are comfortable enough, when you've learned Excel, SQL, Visualization, and you are comfortable in those tools, then you can move to Python. But we don't, uh, we don't advise beginners to start with Python because it can feel overwhelming because it involves coding, right? And now when you understand why you are using a tool, it stops feeling overwhelming. And that's the basic truth. So you are no longer chasing trends. They tell you this, they tell you this tomorrow, and then you are now confused. You are now overwhelmed. You don't know where to start. But when you understand all these things, you'll be able to make your decisions faster. You'll be able to build skills with purpose because you know why you are doing this. You know why you are using Excel. You know why you are using Power BI. You know why you are using um, SQL for your analysis. And then the third thing is practice. And this is where confidence comes in. And let me say this clearly. Watching video is not practice. I wanted that to stick and that was why I paused a bit. Watching videos is not practice. Finishing a Udemy course is not practice. But practice means working with real data. Practice means working with messy data practice means building small projects practice means making mistakes practice means getting stuck and figuring things out and that's where confidence is built so confidence is not built from your certifications the certificates you get after finishing a course Confidence is not built from finishing a playlist, YouTube playlist, Alex is an analyst and all those things. You don't have confidence by finishing those playlists, but you have confidence by finishing them and then working on them. That's where confidence comes in. So confidence comes from doing. And then lastly, the most important part that people mostly ignore is sharing share what you are learning you don't have to be an expert before you share you don't have to be perfect before you share you don't have to know it all before you share a lot of people wait until they learn the basic part of excel learn the intermediate part of excel learn the advanced part of excel before they share what they learned or they know and that's very very hard so i encourage you to practice and to share don't just practice and leave it when you practice and leave it nobody will know what you have done nobody will know what you can do so you share what you learned today share a small project you can share a mistake that you fixed you never can tell someone out there might even be encountering that same mistake but when you're able to fix it just share it and people would see it and sharing those two things the first thing is that it builds confidence you know i said it earlier 
Then the next thing is to create visibility. Sharing creates visibility. I've seen a lot of people who started learning data analysis in three months. And after the third month, they got a job. That's because they were visible. They were sharing what they knew. They were sharing what they were learning. And that's one of the things that would help you to do well in 2026. So I encourage you that as you are learning, as you are practicing, you push what you are learning out there. Even if it is ordinary lookup function that you are learning, push it. Even if it is creating a pivot table, push it. And so opportunities don't always come from skills alone. They come from being seen. I've seen a lot of testimonies out there where people who recently um, learned something, pushed something out there and someone saw it and then gave them jobs. And it's a practical example. Somebody recently learned how to automate some processes. She did a video and posted it. And when she posted it, somebody, a proprietress, saw what she did. She was happy about it. She felt like, oh, this person can help me to replicate this in my own company as well. And she was given a three-month contract. What if she held back? What if she said she wasn't going to push since she was just learning it anyways? What if she was trying to wait until she was perfect, until she was done with it? And so we advise people to endeavor to push what they learn out because they never can tell who is watching. Anytime I have the opportunity to speak with people, I tell them that they push, they share, they post because they never can tell who is watching them. I hope you got it. And so if you are confused right now, I want to tell you something. Confusion is not a sign of weakness. It is, it's a sign that you care. It's a sign that you want to learn. It's a sign that you want to grow. It's a sign that you want to succeed this year. And so clarity comes from focus, not more information. Clarity does not come from you hear this person telling you to learn Excel, learn SQL, learn Power BI, learn all those things. But it comes from focus. So this year, I encourage you to stop trying to learn everything. Just choose completion. Choose to finish a course and then move to your own. As you are learning Excel, work on the project, practice what you are learning, and then push it out there. When you are done with Excel, you can now move to SQL, and then after SQL, you can now move to the other tools. And so if this video helped you, you are going to do two things for me. The first one is to comment clarity below and I read every comment so I'm going to respond to your comments comment clarity and I would also like to hear from you what tool do you want to start with do you want to start with Excel Power BI SQL Python I would like to know in the comment as well and then secondly subscribe because this um, channel is going to be about direction it's going to be about confidence it's going to be about real data growth I'm also going to be sharing projects that you can easily work on, you can add to your portfolio, and this portfolio or project will help you to stand out. And so, like I said, you don't need to know everything. You just need to know what to do next. After you've learned Excel, you know the next thing is to learn SQL. You know the next thing is to learn Power BI. And that's how it is. So, to summarize everything I said, the first thing is to learn the fundamentals. Don't just jump into knowing the tools. Understand the fundamentals. Know what data is. Know why companies collect data. Know what data analysts do. Know the difference between the data analysts, data scientists, data engineers, and the AI analysts. And then after knowing the fundamentals, the next thing is now to know the tools, to learn the tools. I've talked about the various tools to learn. Then the next thing is to practice. When you don't practice, you won't know what you are learning. It does not stick to your head. So when you practice, it deepens your understanding about a thing. And then lastly, you share. When you don't share, nobody will know what you can do. Nobody will know what you are doing. Don't say you are an introvert. Put yourself out there because opportunities are for only those that put themselves out there. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye.